It's NFL action live from Tokyo, Japan at the world-famous Krokyo Dome. And the Terminators are being oiled and charged up in anticipation of a successful campaign today. Oh, that sounds like being at the Gage House massage parlor last night, Grim. Happy ending? Uh, well, if you mean getting tossed into the prana tank in the lobby, yes, they're very happy, Grim. Very happy ending. Both teams hit the field ready to hit each other in this MFL matchup. The Philadelphia Eagles go up against the Tokyo Terminators. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Oh, seriously, man, you think you go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? You get my grill, I'll ruin your world. Ruin it. If the sound of a torn Achilles followed by laughter and taunting brings a smile to your face, you are tuned to the right place. Hi, everyone. Grim Blitzrow and the MFL crew is coming to you live on game day. Bricks, any uh, thoughts on today's game? Um, I thought I had one, but uh, I think I might have forgotten it. Oh, I remember. Uh, I forgot who's playing today. Careful what you asked for, Grim. He says, I'm taking you with me. And that's a hell of a cheap shot. <laughs> Gotta love it. And it's first and ten. The Roid Rage Dirty Trick transforms a player into a rampaging lunatic for the duration of the play. I know that's typical of all MFL players, but... Oh, big catch! Big run! Big touchdown! Yeah, big deal. Mr. the meat for Brace Ram with a ball and didn't fall out. Yo, man, nobody can touch you when I ball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. Straight through the uprights. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. And it's first and ten. As they say at the deli, who's next? Uh, uh, can I get a Swiss on rye with uh, no mustard? <laughs> and it's first and ten. That's a pass that went nowhere. Oh, that's like me at the hotel bar every night. Hey, maybe you need a better opening line than you want to see the teeth growing out of the roof of my mouth? What? The book How to Pick Up Girls and Tell Them Something Unique About Yourself. That's unique. The defender says, it's mine, and he comes away with the pick. <laughs> oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. It sounds like my off season. <laughs> And it's first and ten. Oh, and the quarterback threads the needle for a first down. And it's first and ten. And into the end zone for a touchdown. 
Once he got his hands on that pass, he was on to the races. Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What? And kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sitters. The kick is good! As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. First and ten. And that's another pick. Man, oh man, the defense is going to have more. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path. Oh, sure, now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy. Oh, holy Montezuma's revenge. That's a crap your pants and die tackle. Oh, that Montezuma was very vengeful, wasn't he, Bricks? Wonder what made him so mad. That was probably all the diarrhea. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah. They probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort, and he just got so mad and cursed everyone who came to Mexico forever to crash their pants. Uh, sounds like he didn't really think it through, because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but they're not the guests. What the fuck are you talking about? Uh, I don't really know right now. What day is it? And that'll be second down and four. I don't know whose eyes the QB is. Oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. Toe to toe with me? Well, you mistaken, man. You get up my grill, I'm going to ruin your world. I'm going to wreck it. And it's first and ten. He blasted and picks up seven yards right there. Second and three. Yeah. And then catch will give them a first down. I don't know if they're his, but he sure has a good set of hands. And it's first and ten. He's not going down. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. Second down and ten. Oh, man, Bricks, you've got to love a player who goes down fighting. And they're catching up. Joke, job, do something. Oh, the unstoppable force meets the explodable object. And whoever said never hit a man when he's down is just plain lazy. Nice extra effort there. with that catch. Uh, not enough for first, but still a nice game. And that'll bring up second and one. <laughs> and he just popped his eyes in the back of his head. That quarterback can be hurting or dead. Bring up third and one. And with another pick, the QB said, and he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well played. The coach isn't liking that call. Oh, oh, his head just exploded. What a miss, what a miss. Ah, oh, shit, Lord, we get out of And 
sides. First and ten. Defense had enough with this rep and jumps off sides to kill him. <laughs> yeah. First down and one. Nobody can touch me when I ball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Hey, what you talking about, pal? Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double-stop burrito from Taco Hell. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. And it's first and ten. And there's another. That, my friends, was an all-pro NFL hit. And it's first and ten. He's supercharged and oh, he was hitting mid hurdle and fumbles the ball. He's running out of gas now. He's at the thirty, the twenty. He's at the ten. And he bursts into the end zone for the score! What a run! Ah, this just breaks my heart, man. First robot to place humans on assembly lines, in cars, and, and soldiers, and now with dancers! What's the wild common tone, man? I ask you honestly, what is the wild common tone? The same radioactive wasteland it's been for a while, Brick. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. It's good. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. Boom! And it's first and ten. So one of the leading causes of death for mutants over 25? I didn't know that. Yeah, right below attending bachelor parties and owning a Sam Schwong Galaxy phone. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and the offense has only two running backs left, and the defense is licking their lips. Uh, I think they want to hit those last two runners for this outcrim. And it's first and ten. Bring up second and one. And he'll pick up the first down with a nice piece of running there. That's the end of quarter one. Well, the good news is there's still time to make it a game. And there's still time to get a beer. And it's first and ten. Well, the 
it should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. They need a good return here to set up the offense. He sits up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open. First and ten. Boom! And like the Titanic, his ship just went down. Hey, hey I almost got dead mutant bingo. All I need is 77 to... Oh, no, that was totally unnecessary. <laughs> I gotta see that one again. It was also freaking awesome. I hope they had raincoats in the front row because that was splattering everywhere. I'm running out of excuses for this QB. You know, oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like Grant Burton. Well, that's a strange penalty called right there. I'm starting to notice that this ref likes talking, and he don't make much sense. No, but he's making a lot of dollars. First down and less than eight. It's a jailbreak, and the defense jumps offside to kill the ref. Oh, crowd's loving it. And it's first and ten. Oh, he's going berserk. The ball carrier better watch out. Oh, and the ball falls to the ground. That's incomplete. He needs to throw it when a receiver can catch it. What's he doing? And uh, groundbreaking analysis as always there, Bricks. Oh, thank you. I do my part. I'm surprised no. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. First and ten. A nice pickup for six yards. And that'll be second down and four. Oh, and he might have just saved a touchdown on that deflection. and four. And they run it for a couple of yards. And out comes the most underrated position in football, the mighty punter. He boomed that one. Let's see if they can get a re no return on this punt. The defense will just down it. I can't tell if he's smart or scared. Either way, the ball is down. And it's first and ten. Oh, man, I love this. He like breaks his bowels. He is loose and heading for the end zone. He could go all the way. The ten. And the quarterback drills one in for the first down. There's a bloody red head on the field. No, that's their red penalty marker, Briggs. Looks like this one's coming back.
First and two. And he breaks through for a touchdown. Listen to this crowd. Yeah. The offense is down to their last running back. If they lose him, they lose all their running plays. Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> Straight through the uprights. Their home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. It's first and ten. That ball just sliced through the defense like butter. I wish defenses were made out of butter. He's like a monkey. Oh, and he breaks free and has nothing but open field in front of him. He did it. He scores. And with that amazing run, he bursts through the end zone for six. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. And it's first and ten. And that one's incomplete. The receiver couldn't get there. And yeah, neither could his mother. Second down and ten. And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. Third down and eight. And then it's a first down from a great catch. Was it a catch? Oh, hold everything. Looks like there's a penalty on the play. And it's first and ten. And now the offense is getting kills. This is really a violent game, guys. The offense has no running backs left, so this becomes a passing only offense. Uh, they can still run it with their QB, right, Grim? Sure, they can run their QB into the defense that's feasting on runners. <laughs> Sounds like a good plan, moron. Hey, watch it! And that'll be second and eight to go. And he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Nicely done. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. It's good. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. And it's 
First and ten. Second down and more than the QB would like. First down! I see this guy drop a lot of balls in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again. You know, good communication is important. This guy's a first down! He was not going to drop that one. They need to make him a target more often. And it's first and ten. And that's a great nine-yard completion there. Hey, it ain't great if you don't score or move the chains. First time out under two minutes. The chess game has begun. It's like chess only. You can kill people. And that'll bring up second and one. Well, it looks like he wanted to run before he caught it. You got to keep your eye on the ball. Come on, you dirtbag. You got to make that catch. And that'll bring up third and one. is getting kills. Oh, this is a really violent game, guys. It's fantastic. And it's first and ten. totally uncalled for and that's why we love the mfl yeah. and the offense goes into their two-minute drill which coincidentally happens to be bricks match stopsing time and that's another turnover for the defense. Oh, that's a vicious hit. And the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutant meat. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. And it's first and ten. Functioning brain cells before that hit. They're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after. And the offense quickly calls their second timeout. That's how you do it. Do what? Second and three. Boom, dead and down. He just sent a message with that hit. Yeah, the message was you can't kill the messenger because he's going to kill you. But then he won't be able to read the message. Because the messenger killed him. Ah, I'm going in circles. The offense is down to their last running back. When he bites the dust, they can only pass. Yeah, well, at least they don't have to forfeit, man. That's right, but now the defense can focus on killing the receivers. In a hurry up offense, there is no huddle, so neither team can put their players on the bench. <laughs> That's the way to keep the chains moving. Bingo! Bingo! I just hit that mutant bingo! And all I was missing was his number for the last three plays! Talk about luck! And it's first, and that'll be their final timeout. And the offense goes into a hurry up to pick up the pace of the game. Oh, and that one's gonna hurt. 
He may not be able to comprehend math. Oh, my God, a man from prison just came out of the field. That's the ref, you idiot. Let's see what the penalty is. The offense wants to speed things up, so it signals a hurry up. Yeah, same as Rich's ex-girlfriend signaled when they were doing it. Oh, great throw! Great catch! And then put six points on the board! The defense couldn't do anything to stop a thrown half good, man! You mean aside from bribing the ref, killing the quarterback, or actually playing some D? <laughs> Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. The kick is good! As, as expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. And that's the end of the second quarter. Someone will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers. Stay with us for the Halftime Show, brought to you by our friends at Monsatan Industries. We make genetically altered Frankenfood you'll have fun trying to identify. Welcome back. Hope you enjoyed the carnage during today's halftime show. Obviously, they need to play a lot harder here in the second half to make a game of it. Or they can start cheating and killing. That's what I do. Hey, you see that move, baby? No, you didn't. You know why? I'm too fast. I'm the greatest. The greatest, I tell you. <laughs> Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a broad light, but it was a chip wearing a wig. And it's first and ten. for a second there. Second down and ten. Does the QB know which team he's on? I don't even know why I'm at. Boom to the moon! Another loser bites the dust. In the NFL, winning is really about how much you want it, Bricks. Well, he clearly didn't want to live as much as the other guy. That's a good point, Grim. He's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. He's at the 10. It's a touchdown. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. Straight through the uprights. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah, that's why he named his clothing company Lukewarm Threads. Team hates it. And it's first and ten. And that's a nice run for a first down. Oh man, he just killed that guy when the play was over. Well, if the ref didn't see it, at least the mortician did. He's coming out in the field now. And it's first and ten. And he stayed with the receiver and deflected the ball. Second down and ten. And he punched his 
way out of it. No doubt about it. That guy is dead. He says, I'm taking you with me. And it's first and ten. Great play by the defense. It's not too often a quarterback gets rejected. That's why that's the position I originally tried out for. I want to know what it's like for other people to accept you. Now that went from a joke to making me feel feelings. Stop it. And he's off to the races. Third down and three. He refuses. To, oh, and he breaks free and has nothing but open field in front of him. And they line up for the extra point. It's good. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. And it's first and ten. If you don't hear it coming, it'll knock you right up. And that is called for a first down. Bingo! Bingo! I just hit that mutant bingo! And all I was missing was his number for the last three plays. Talk about luck! And it's first and ten. how you play defense of course he he could have had an interception returned it for a touchdown and changed the entire game but i don't want to nitpick i do the guy should have fucking caught it second down and ten and the, oh man he just laid the wood on that guy yeah if you're gonna hit a guy that hard you should at least kill him do him a favor finish him <laughs> And it's first and ten. And the ball hits the field incomplete. He threw it when no one could catch it. Some things like that in the quarterback. Second down and ten. And this guy looks like Thor on a revenge bender right now. Oh, and he fumbles the ball on that hit. When you hurdle and get hit, chances for a fumble increase. And he finds open spaces running toward the end zone. Turn on your jet, you son of a bitch. He's at the 20. They're gaining on him. Hey, come on, move your ass. I got a saw buck oh, running on this asshole. the extra point attempt it goes right through yeah like a double stuff burrito from taco hell let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty whichever oh great tackle when his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about bad hit. Yeah, most likely in a convalescent home. And it's first and ten. <laughs> he broke free and has open field in front of him. 
The 30. The 20. The 10. And they're catching up. Joke, job, do something. Hey, man, you see that? That's right, you can't handle this. You can't handle what I got. Yeah, get the hell out of here, man. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? Straight through the uprights. When you get knocked down, you gotta get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. And it's first and ten. And the QB might as well just bury himself now because this guy's full on boom to the moon. Another loser bites the dust. In the NFL, winning is really about how much you want it, Bricks. Well, he clearly didn't want to live as much as the other guy. That's a good point, Grim. Some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What? And kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called. The kick is good! As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one time thing. Oh, that was totally uncalled for. And that's why we love the MFL. First and ten. And he's off to the races. Look at that little mutant run. Uh, I don't think you can say that, Grim. Oh, boy. And it's first and ten. And he's running like a man like Brix's bowels. He is loose and heading for the end zone. Wake of destruction in his path. And he runs out of gas and got tackled short of the goal line. Hell of a run, though. Uh, like a stab in the head to a lot of guys, Grim. Uh, at least that's what I hear. And it's first and ten. Same page on that play. Second down and ten. Ah, another interception. Geez, you give this guy a bigger paycheck than everybody else combined. He just put that guy out of his misery and says, Who's next? He could go all the way. First and ten. His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. And he snatches that one out of the air for a first down. See if they can get something going here. That's the end of the third quarter. And look, folks, I'll be honest, I don't see a chance in hell in here. First and ten. Right rage ignites that deep down violent rage and makes you unstoppable. He had nowhere to go and got nothing out of it.
Second down and ten. At this rate, the QB is going to have more interceptions than completions. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I bet you took it with the vicious kill. Did you know light hits are one of the leading causes of death for mutants over 25? I didn't know that. Yeah, right below attending bachelor parties and owning a Sam Schwong Galaxy phone. And that'll bring up second and one. Defense says enough of this BS and jumps offside to lay waste to the referee. Way to go, guys. And that'll bring up second and one. And he just nailed him right on the numbers for a touchdown. Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> it's good. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. And the hurry-up offense wears out the defense since they can't rest their players. And a hard run there picks up the first down. The offense lost another quarterback on the previous play and have only two left before they have to forfeit. Yeah, but on the bright side, Wim, they save a ton of money by not having to pay those guys anymore. And the quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense and calls all the plays from the line of scrimmage from here on out. Gets the ball, get the first down, and don't die. See, it's really a the ref that just called that penalty. He was convicted of marrying old ladies and stealing their savings. That sounds like a good job. Man. He's right at home here, taking money from coaches, players, and fans. I even saw him swipe the money from the bathroom attendant. Yeah, who don't do that? The offense changes the pace by going into a hurry-up. Does you see the defense gets into a hurry-up, too? Fred, can I kill him? He caught it, and nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone. Except maybe self-doubt, but he seems to have worked through it. Try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? Straight through the uprights. <laughs> the best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. First and ten. <laughs> Second down in a very lot. Slipped away like, ooh, that hit's going to shave a few days off his life. And the hurry 
up offense wears out the defense since they can't rest their players. And he catches it for a touchdown. What a beautiful play. Yeah, it's all those power and grin like a haiku. And they line up for the extra point. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. My friend, I know why it wasn't a broad in my bed. It was a chip. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path, and the body toll continues to climb. The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? Now, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably cramped his pants. And it's first and ten. The defense didn't give an inch. No gain on that play. Second down and ten. four-yard game. Oh, come on. That was a cheap shot. <laughs> That's why I love this guy. And so do the fans. Third down and six. And then catch will give them a first down. Oh! You knew you were going to see a lot of carnage today, folks. These teams have bad blood between them. Apparently, they got it from the same blood mobile that usually parks outside next to the taco truck. Raccoon rabies blood is my thought. Always a player's favorite. At this rate, the QB is going to have more interceptions than... Oh, mama! He just knocked him into the next time zone. Lucky find his head. He'll be okay. First and ten. Maybe the QB should throw it and catch it, too. Second down and ten. When the defense calls Thunderclap, the offense is toast. Oh, did he ever get zapped? Reminds me, you ever hear that Zappa song, Watch Out Where the Huskies Go? Don't you eat that yellow snow? When I was a kid, I always ate the yellow snow. They were like lemon snow cones. But them fudge ice cream sandwiches, eh, they didn't taste so good. The offense has only one quarterback left. If he dies, it's game over. Yeah, this new QB, he don't even look too confident. He's bleeding with the coach on the sidelines about something. Telling his coach to punt. What a pussy. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. And what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. The quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense. He's looking for a quick score. Aren't we all, Grim? Aren't we all? He could go all the way. In a hurry.
hurry up offense. There is no huddle, so neither team can put their players on the bench. And the NFL keeps pounding out the depth hits on WMFL 98.8, the greatest hits of all time. Huh? Did you just say greatest hits? Wow! He's at the a touchdown saving tackle. And it's first and ten. Cribbling? It certainly left skid marks. The ref calls a penalty. You know, the MFL has eliminated almost every penalty in the rule book, and yet it still feels like there's way too many penalties. Stupid jerks. You guys suck. The offense is down to their last two receivers. Once they're gone, it's game over, baby. Ah, those poor receivers. They're really getting the snot kicked on them. Someone ought to just shoot them, put them out of their misery. Uh, don't worry, that's coming. First down and one. Oh, great catch! And that's a touchdown! Touchdown! Shouldn't be easy, but with kickers, you never know. It's good. They need a good return here to set up the offense. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. He's dead. Oh, bingo, bingo, bingo. I got bingo, Grim. And the two-minute warning sounds. Sounds like what, Grim? Sounds like the asshole I'm living on. The burn returner was killed on that play. The coach will replace him with another player. And the offense goes into the hurry-up formation to try to conserve time. First and, and they stop the clock with their first time out to try and stay in this game. Oh, nice coaching move there. Hall of Fame caliber. Well, I mean, it's a pretty standard coaching move at this point of the game. I will listen to this pass for me. And there's another pick. Oh, did he take a punishing hit? You ever had your lights knocked out like that, Bricks? Yeah, the waitress at the Boo Hooters chicken wings last night? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, and then the police... The offense lost another receiver on that play, and only two remain on the roster. When a team loses all the receivers, they have to forfeit. And it's first and ten. Oh, and, he, and that's a hell of a cheap shot. <laughs> Gotta love it. And that's two timeouts gone for the defense. But they've really got to get the ball back to their offense. But the offense is like 30 balls over there on the sideline just waiting for them. Why don't they just use them? Ask the ball boy. He doesn't do nothing. In the corner of it. You can't keep a good meal. Pow! And how about a little dirt sandwich? Time to speed things up. The offense goes into a two-minute drill. Oh, and he might have just saved a touchdown on that deflection. In a hurry 
hurry up offense. There is no huddle, so neither team can put their players on the bench. And that's an incomplete pass. Looks like the defense got away with that one there. How do you want to grab the receiver like that? He could get hurt. When in a hurry up offense, the offense needs to run out of bounds or take a timeout to stop the clock. No doubt about it, that guy is dead. He says, I'm taking you with me. shorthanded for the rest of the game. Uh, and if they lose him, will they have to forfeit? Uh, talk about pressure. I'm going to have to take the value before this one ends. Hey, y'all been out on me. And it's first and ten. And there's another. Oh, what the brutal hit. They're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga. And they are out of timeout. The clock just became their greatest enemy. Really? The clock? The clock, Grim? I can smash a clock. That's not a great enemy. We're not talking about waking up the track of noon. We're talking about the NFL, you moron. Oh, great play. He is on that receiver like glue. You know, when I was little, my dad used to make me eat glue. My tongue would get stuck to the roof of my mouth. Father was a very smart man, Bricks. Very smart. And the offense goes into a hurry-up to pick up the pace of the game. And he breaks first down! I see this guy drop a lot of balls in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again. You know, good communication is... Oh, and did he just put on a display there? Touchdown! Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. The kick is good. Yeah, as expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Looks like they're lined up for an onside kick. Oh, and that kick to his highlight reel. That was perfect. And since the Tokyo Terminators lose the game today. The score says it all, but it wasn't even that close. They got blown out at home. Fans left by halftime to forget the game and start watching the new Game of Bones on NBO. You know, I watched that on my phone, too. Oh, let's go down to the field and see how badly the MVP rubs it in. <laughs> This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you're not happy.